Hello, this is Steven Anderson. I just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on with my Border Patrol situation. Next week is actually going to be a trial by jury. And this is, of course, the defense phase. This is not the lawsuit. This is not me going after them. This is the two charges that I'm charged with, the two misdemeanors. One, failure to obey, and two, obstructing a public highway. Uh, if you don't know the situation, you can, of course, watch the, the video of the actual footage of me being uh, tasered, having my head smashed into the, the door frame, and uh, I had to get 11 stitches, and so forth. But next week on Wednesday, there's going to be a hearing on whether or not this checkpoint is being operated in a constitutional manner. And then on Thursday and Friday is the two-day trial by jury. Now, if there's any way that you can be there, that would be great. Or if you could just please pray for me. But what I wanted to bring up was the fact that in the mail I got this uh, paperwork and it's basically a list of things that the prosecutor wants to enter as evidence because he has to disclose those things. And he has this long list of my preaching that he wants to use as evidence. Now keep in mind, this whole case is about me refusing a warrantless search at a checkpoint. I never even brought up the fact that I was a pastor because it wasn't the issue. The issue was that I was an American and therefore I have rights guaranteed me by the Bill of Rights. And basically he wants to enter all these different sermons as evidence against me. Now the funny thing is that all of these sermons were preached after the events in question on April 14th. Uh, but let me give you an example. He wants to enter my sermon entitled Gender Identity as Evidence. The sermon is all about the roles of men and women. It's all Bible based. It uses a ton of scripture from the Bible. How is that evidence in this case? He's also entering as evidence against me a sermon that I did on the Antichrist, the One World Government, and the Second Coming of Jesus Christ. So. Apparently, according to this prosecutor, that's what I'm on trial for, what I believe, who I am, what my opinions are, what my political views are. This is unbelievable that he would get a, a, a paycheck from our tax dollars to sit and listen to my preaching and to try to use my preaching against me. These are charges that have nothing to do with religion. I never even mentioned the fact that I was a pastor, and yet... I'm being put on trial apparently because I believe that 9-11 was an inside job. That's another YouTube clip that he has listed here as evidence against me. Another YouTube clip, this one is on, you know, why I hate Barack Obama. That's, that's evidence against me for why I'm guilty of not uh, submitting to a warrantless search at a border patrol checkpoint. And so this is unbelievable. This stuff is totally irrelevant. Now I'll stand by everything that I preach. I'm not ashamed of it. In fact, I'm the one who put it on the internet. So I don't have a problem with anybody, you know, hearing what I've preached. I'll stand by what I've said. But the point is that this guy is trying to put me on trial, apparently, for what I believe and what I preach. I thought this was a free country. I thought I was allowed freedom of religion, freedom of speech. I didn't know that I had to fit some kind of a societal norm in order to have rights as an American. But anyway, if, if, if you can come to the trial, uh, it's, it's open to the public. Or if you could just pray, or uh, another way to help out would just be to leave a comment on this video, to uh, put it on your Facebook, put it on your blog, and spread the word about what's going on because, you know, our rights are being violated. My Fourth and Fifth Amendment rights were violated at this checkpoint. My Eighth Amendment right was violated. And now my freedom of religion and my freedom of political opinion is being called into question.